So Madeline Shizas from Canada recently posted some pictures of herself from the Mapella Memorial. And she looks amazing. I love this new blue dress for her free program. It's a great color on her and I think it looks really good with especially her haircut. I love the bangs. It's just a really good look on her. So she posted a few pictures of her where she's looking really happy. She got a medal, which is amazing. Good for her. I'm so happy for her. But in the comments, one user decided to start some drama over Maddie's costume. At first, this lady asked if anyone knows who designed the dress. Then she claimed that it looks almost exactly like a custom dress that Kelly Matthews made for her in 2019. She admitted the neckline is different, but almost every single other aspect of the dress is the same. And she claimed that some designer, namely Maddie's dress designer, was copying other people. She continued on saying that she was happy to provide picture and she was saying that this is an unethical level of copying. Um, She said that she wasn't going to dox Maddie's costume designer. Um, She said that Maddie's costume designer made a poorly constructed knockoff version of a random college skater's dress. Um, (laughs) And... (laughs) She even called it a one-ply skirt that shows your butt. Um, So Maddie actually replied to Emily saying that, you know, it's not a knockoff. And uh, some of the features they added were based on judge feedback. And that, you know, Emily was actually kind of rude to Maddie in those comments. And then Emily came back and just kept arguing her point. Some other people started arguing. And then Corey jumped in and he basically defended Maddie really well, saying that she doesn't have the time to look at collegiate skaters' outfits and copy them. Um, And the coaches in the Federation have green-lighted the design. And Emily came back and just kept arguing about her point. And she says that actually many people have copied her dress. So I know by now we're all curious what the dress looks like. This is what the dress looks like from the back. Okay. So it's got a strap down one side. It's got a bit of a frilly run on the other side. And it's symmetrical. Okay. Let's look at the back of Maddie's dress. Very different. Very, very different. Um, It looks slightly asymmetrical to me. The draping is different. The layering is different. The straps are different. The beading is different. Um, And let's see this dress from the front. This is Emily's dress from the front. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad dress. In fact, it's a gorgeous dress. And I think it's made very well. And Emily actually looks very good in this dress. But if we compare these, there's different layering going on here. Yes, they are both gathered at the same side. Um, But if you've watched figure skating at all, this could be a similarity between any two costumes, really. And then you can see Maddie's dress has some sort of cutouts on the left-hand side. You can see there appear to be at least four little cutouts. um, And you can see that Emily's dress does not have cutouts on this side. Very clear in this picture. She did say that the neckline is different. So in and of itself, the neckline being so different... Like, she has a band of fabric almost at the neckline. You can see where it cuts off the heavy beading. There's some sort of layering going on there. Uh, Maddie does not have that. Hers are gathered up to the top of the halter, and there are large beads placed there. And that's just not happening on Emily's dress. The beading on the straps of Emily's dress are also very delicate, and the beading on Maddie's straps on her dress, you can see they're larger beads. And yeah, it's a similar color, but... (laughs) So what? Like, if you watch a figure skating competition, you're gonna see some dresses with similar color. Emily was also claiming that the beading is the same, where it's just not. Like, if you look at the density and distribution of the beads, it is quite different from dress to dress. So overall, I don't think Emily has any ground to stand on saying that this is a copy. Um, It's similar, but it has about as many similarities as any two pop songs you hear on the radio. It's like if you heard a pop song with the chords 1, 4, 5, and 6, and then claim that every other pop song with the chords 1, 4, 5, and 6 was a knockoff. They're similar because it's in the same genre, not because it's a ripoff. Anyway, that's your drama update.